Jeff, we are once again back at HRO. Yeah, Anaheim. welcome back, Julian. W5ABQ. W5ABQ. And N3JF, here. Yeah. Jeff Paget, uh, assistant manager at the store here at Anaheim. So, um, looks like we're not talking about uh, ham radio today. No, we're going to go down a, a different uh, path today. Uh, we're going to continue talking about uh, different types of radio services. Mm. Uh, just a quick reminder, um, FCC has approved and... Uh, recognizes, uh, what is it, about four or five different radio services, starting with uh, FRS. We get a lot of questions about this, mm -hmm. Julian. Family radio service, that's the walkie-talkies you'll see. You can order them online. Walmart. Walmart, like yep, yeah. Target, Walmart. Um, you're able to use it with your family. They're about two watts of power, but they're limited and so forth. And uh, You can't put external antennas on right. them and stuff like that. The antennas are permanent on the FRS. Then we have MERS, the multi-use mm -hmm. radio service. And that's very similar, but it can be used even for business. And So uh, like your yeah. drive-ins used to use, or maybe still do in some cases use mirrors? Yeah. yeah. That's always fun, placing your order directly. Well, we don't say that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, and, and both of those, the FRS and the MERS, do not require test or license. Okay. So anyone can use those. And those are both basically HT, handy talkie, walkie talkie type devices for portable two watts. And um, the other one would be the CBRS, Citizen Band Radio Service. CBRS. CB, never, yeah. Never CB got upgraded. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Very good. And then uh, today we're looking at GMRS, the General Mobile Radio Service. And let me uh, mention that CBRS, CB, even MERS and GMRS really are good gateways for um, whether it's young or old to help learn about radio technology, antennas, and, and get over mic fear. Right. The fear, the phobia of speaking on a microphone to other people. And so I, and I think we both started on CB, me in England that's and you. That's right. Where, where are you from? Te Texaco? No. Where <laughs> Texaco. Was it? Where was it? <laughs> Kentuckyana. Kentuckyana. Southeast Indiana on the yeah. uh, tri state. Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. On yeah. A, on a vertizontal antenna. Vertizontal, which is a sloper, by the way. That's how we. Yes, there you go. Sounds more, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so the these are all gateways get you kind of used to talking on the radio. By the time I was in fourth or fifth grade using a CB, I knew how to build an antenna, power mm -hmm. supply, and understood standing wave ratio, match, and resonance, and all that. So it's a good way. Yes, study's important. But sometimes it's more than just text on a page. You, yeah, you get some exactly. OJT on the job training and some, some things that are practical. So today we offer, because many of our operators are in, were licensed or they are licensed with GMRS. Uh, GMRS does not require a test, but it does require a license. And they did extend it a few years ago. It's a 10-year license, $35 admin fee with the FCC. You get a call sign then you can operate on the GMRS frequencies. And, and to get your license, you have to go to the FCC website, yeah. yep. sign up, give them your TIN, your tax, tax identifier number. Yeah, like uh, the, yeah kind of the stuff. FRN. Yeah, they have, I think they issue, the every, FRN also, yeah, they yeah. issue everybody that gets registered. Yeah. So. And then it's simple, a couple of days later you get your yep. license. Your license, so. you can be on the air. Uh, and, and, and the GMRS works for your household. It, the license good for the family. So excellent, and these are good for recreation, camping, hiking. Uh, it's good for uh, those even um, off roaders. Off roaders. That's yeah. the, that's exactly the one I was thinking. Yeah, I get off I get a ton of questions on social media. Yep. You know, hey, I want to use a radio to communicate with cars in the convoy going out to the desert or whatever. And yes, this is a perfect perfect solution for that. Yep, absolutely. And some of these radios are. Pre-programmed, we'll mention in just a moment. Others you can reprogram. And I do know even this model here we'll talk about, the uh, TR-505, is used by security teams mm. in, you know, on school campuses. So, All right, we're going to start with the Radioddity over here. This nice, very subcompact. Yeah, this thing's tiny. DB20. This is a 20-watt mobile. And uh, easy install, very easy to install. Everything is there, microphones included. It's got a DTMF type keypad for all of your entries and um, comes with the DC cable, the cigarette adapter already attached. 
If it you has have Andersons or whatever, just cut that off and put Andersons yeah, on there. If you want to, sure. Typically, these will do about 20 miles line of sight on average. And um, they, uh, it comes with nine repeater channels that you, pro you program. It does come with a programmable cable that's included as well. Um, has seven National Weather Service weather channels as well. And plenty of different uh, tones and codes for you to be able to program so you're able to access the repeaters. So and let me ask you a quick question about yeah. repeaters. Are, are they open like they are on hands, or, or generally do you uh, have to be a member of I think some of them you do have to be a member. You do have to have uh, permission and ac to access those. And there are privacy codes involved as well. And this, okay. this device will allow you to enter those privacy codes. Excellent. Ready? Yeah. And it comes with the mic, mic hook DC cables I mentioned, and it does have the programmable cable. Uh, it's going to, and not only does it transmit us on the UHF GMRS frequencies, but it does have a wideband receive, including VHF. It will oh, okay. receive down 136 to 174, for, for 400 to 480 on the receive side. So it's got very wide band wow. on that. All right, and then we have here the rugged radio. Oh. This is the GMR25, also compact, easy install ready to go, plug and play. Uh, the microphone has a magnetic strip on the back to connect it and to magnetic. We have nothing magnetic here. Yeah, okay. that's correct. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, DC cables built in, it comes with another extension. And this uh, connection here is for the rugged radio accessories such as headsets with microphones. Oh, okay. Easy plug and play for that one as well. Um, Very cool. It's just a, a well, it's about the same size as the other yeah, one. Yeah, maybe slightly a little bit bigger. Yeah. So, excellent, rugged radio. Okay. Yeah, fifteen. It comes with fifteen GMRS channels, and by the way, this is actually IP67, so it does handle a lot of uh, water resistance yeah. as well. You'll see there's a lot in off-road vehicles. I was going to say it seems perfect for that. Yep. Yeah. Now this is a twenty-five, and it does have. Uh, dual watch. It can actually oh. listen to dual frequencies simultaneously. Huh. So it's a really nice feature as well. And it's got channel scan as well. These two could also be converted with one of our PowerWorks power supply, mm -hmm. the SS30, that we, one of our best sellers. And um, you're, you're able to turn those mobiles into a base station with this power supply. We do have a couple of base station um, antennas. One is the Comet CA712 and the Diamond BC200 that works on GMRS frequencies. They're cut for that. Then on the mobile side for these radios, we do have our ever popular CA2x4. Uh, well, we sell out of these quite often. Actually. There's one in my car right it's now. It's a big so. seller. <laughs> And, and, and well liked as well. You can even add a spring to it for the off-roaders. Uh, but this is a wide band. It will work with a triplexer, duplexer, if you want to do uh, VHF, UHF, ham radio, and then also want to do GMRS um, on that. So it will work with GMRS frequencies on the UHF side. Yeah. That's a CA two by four. Yeah, by great common. antenna. Yep, great yeah. antenna. All righty, we have here, staying with the rugged radio uh, that matches, is the GMR2. This is the handheld walkie-talkie. It comes with the 22 pre-programmed channels for GMRS. It does have a flashlight included as well. And so it's all, all got all the standard GMRS frequencies. It does have FM radio that's included and the weather channels. So quite a, packs of, you know, a lot of, uh, features there in a small package. So that's, uh, all these are part 95 certified, these devices, uh, FCC approved. And uh, that's the GMR2. And you say watt. part 95, yep. of course ham radio is covered by part 97. Yep. So legally, even though you may have modified your ham radio to yep. transmit on yep. these other frequencies, you're not actually legally allowed to do it. So yes. it's always best to have a radio for that specific service. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and all these devices we're talking about is working within those parameters, FCC, what's approved and what's lawful as far as power and so forth as well. All right, then we have finally the TR505 handheld, TR505. This is a 16 channel. 
uh, can be used in all kinds of applications. This one does have four watts. Um, this is a very popular radio with a lot of school campuses, with some of our customers. We program them for their frequencies that they've been allocated by the FCC. So they use it on the campus for safety and security. So every classroom in some cases are equipped with this, with this radio. So no, no front keypad on here as there no. is on the other ones? So. Yeah, and then there, there's the big brother to this, the 590, which does have a keypad and a display. Um, and I think it has more memories. So it's a step up from this one. This is just very simple. Just yeah, easy to operate channelized. and it works really well. Yeah. I get really good feedback on these, good comments on the TR505. Easy to operate and it can be reprogrammed to that multi-use radio service MERS frequencies as wow. well. Okay. Very cool. So we've got the DB20, the Radioddity, mobile unit 20 watt, the rugged radio GMR 25, 25 watt. And these are two and four watt um, handheld GMRS radios. Sweet. All right. Oh, we want to add the, yeah, yeah, we do have external speakers involved or, or available, I should say, for the two mobiles as well. Uh, this is one of our most popular speakers that we provide. The 281 the MFJ. One. Yep, 281. Excellent. And uh, that's it for our GMRS today. Wow. All right. So again, real easy to get your license. Just go onto the FCC website, yep. sign in, sign up, and uh, pay $35 for a 10-year license. Yes. You get a call sign, which is nothing like a ham radio call sign. It's like three letters and yeah. multiple numbers after that. Yep. Um, and then you're good to go on F, uh, GMRS, almost said FRS. Yes. Now, uh, GMRS and FRS share some they frequencies. Share. They share some frequencies. That's correct. They do. So if you There's have uh, neighbors or friends who not interested in getting a license and just want to get an FRS radio, you can still talk to them on eight shared channels. Something yeah, something like that. Like that. Yeah. 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 So very cool. Yep. Excellent. All right. Jeff, thank yep. you very much. Let's see you on the next one. You got it. All right. Take see care. Ya. 73. 73.